it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Now we will take a look at the Five Kingdom system of classification of organisms. Due to the fact that there is such a wide variety of living organisms on our planet, it has been necessary to arrange them into groups based on similarities. The five kingdoms of life are monera, also known as bacteria, fungi, protista, plants and animals. So let's look at each kingdom in a bit more detail now. Kingdom monera contains about 10,000 identified species of bacteria. Bacteria were the first organisms to develop on planet Earth. Main features of this kingdom include they are mainly microscopic and single-celled organisms. They are all prokaryotic, meaning that they do not have a membrane-enclosed nucleus. They do not have double membrane-bound organelles like mitochondria and chloroplasts. And they normally reproduce asexually using binary fission. Examples of members of the fungal kingdom include mushrooms, mildews, moles and yeasts. Fungi play a vital role in that they break down dead organisms and allow minerals like carbon and nitrogen to be recycled. Main features of this kingdom include They are mainly multicellular but some single cell types like yeast exist. They are eukaryotic, they have a membrane enclosed nucleus. Cell walls are made of a carbohydrate called chitin. They are unable to make their own food and their method of reproduction involves spores. Kingdom Protista contains a wide variety of organisms, from large algae like seaweeds to single-celled organisms like amoeba and paramecium. Protists are found almost anywhere water is present. Main features of this kingdom include They are eukaryotic. They have a membrane-enclosed nucleus. Some feed by taking in organic substances, by absorbing nutrients through their cell walls, whereas others like algae can actually produce their own food by photosynthesis. The plant kingdom includes the mosses, ferns and seed producing plants which can be split into flowering and non-flowering plants. Main features of this kingdom include All plants are multicellular. Their cells have cell walls made of the carbohydrate cellulose. Their cells often have large vacuoles. They are eukaryotic, meaning they have a true nucleus and membrane enclosed organelles. Chloroplasts in plant cells contain the pigment chlorophyll which enables photosynthesis. All plants are autotrophs, meaning that they make their own food, and plants can reproduce sexually and asexually. The animal kingdom includes jellyfish, flatworms, snails, roundworms, segmented worms, reptiles, birds and mammals, which includes us as humans. Main features of this kingdom include All organisms in this kingdom are multicellular. They are eukaryotic, meaning they have a true nucleus and membrane-enclosed organelles. Animal cells do not have cell walls. All animals are heterotrophic. They cannot produce their own food. And animals normally reproduce sexually. Here's what you usually need to be able to do. Know the names of the five kingdoms of classification of life and whether the members of each kingdom are prokaryotic or eukaryotic. 